approximately a month ago, we read that in the Ukraine, leaflets were passed out, the Jews were told to register. Now, both governments, the Ukraines and the Russians, are saying we're not behind that. Probably some radicals were behind that. Well, of course, Hitler was a radical and did a whole lot. But what were your thoughts when you heard that the Jews were told to register in the Ukraine? It reminded me of my past. We were to register. I know. I was a small kid when Hitler came to power, about five and a half years old. And uh, that was exactly what they did then. You had to state you either a Jew or an mm. Aryan. Hitler called the Germans the Aryans, the master race. So there was, you couldn't move from one city to another without having to report. And even if you hadn't reported, they'd find you. They'd find you. The complete control of the, of the Jewish people. Yeah. You feel that um, another Holocaust could happen similar to what happened in the 30s and 40s? You mean here in this country? Anywhere. Anywhere. Yes, because the devil is anywhere. Mm-hmm. And he's working overtime because he knows he hasn't got much time left. That is very true. We have spent time on this program talking about your testimony, and there are some new products out. We're going to talk about that, that have your testimony in them. We've spent time on this program talking. You you helped us understand, this was a couple of months ago, what's called the Confessional Church, yeah. which many Americans know nothing about. Well, the Confessional Lutheran Church are the ones that right. stick to the scriptures. Right. They're very strict and... Um, but also they build a lot of walls around them. But anyway, they're, they're very conservative. But however, I found out when I lived up north that many of them, not all of yeah. them, not very friendly well, to Israel. Sometimes they're into replacement theology. But w- what you and I talked about, and this is a couple months ago, the Bonhoeffer. Yeah, uh, in Germany. The Bonhoeffer in Germany, Bonhoeffer, Niemöller. And we don't have to go there again, but I'm just reviewing some of the things we've covered on this program because we've tried to help educate the listening audience as to what in the world was Europe like in the 30s and 40s? How was the climate such that they allowed this to happen, at least Germany, and for that matter, Austria, I'll get there in a minute, I'll let it happen as well. And it was partly because there had been a terrible depression because of World War I. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want to go back to one of the things you shared two weeks ago at my conference, because, and I, I kind of led with it just a minute ago, and it's a verse. And mm-hmm. it's a very, very powerful verse, and I'm not sure everyone is able to pray this verse and mean it in their heart. It's good for me that I have been afflicted that I might learn your statutes or your ways. Explain that to the people, how that's that was your verse then and now. Yeah, it's because I went through about the worst thing that this one, in fact, it was Ezra. Mm -hmm. And um, he was on a death march. I could identify to this because I too have come to realize that I thank God for the 12 and a half years of persecution. Physically, it has damaged me considerably. Mm -hmm. I ended up with a lot of surgeries. But what it did for me spiritually, the trust I already had a foundation. I became a a Christian when I was seven. But um, it brought me so much closer to God. And I always say, I wouldn't want to trade in my faith for a perfect body. Mm. The whole era, I look back and I said, it was necessary or, or the Lord wouldn't have permitted it. Because my sister got out of Germany, my mother and I didn't. And I remember my pastor sitting with me and saying, you know, I have a feeling you and your mother, and that was when the Nazis had picked up my mother and taken her away when I was 16. And he said to me, I have a feeling you and your mother are going to survive because God needs you so that you can go out and witness for him. 